So my chain has been soaking for uh, three, four days now. I come out here and rotate it every day. Makes it a lot easier to clean. Mixture of diesel fuel and motor oil works pretty well and lubri lubricates and cleans at the same time. So once I'm done with this, uh, it's going to be done. I mean, I, I mean, once I once I'm done cleaning, it's it's already lubed. I'm just going to dry it off as best I can so as not to attract more dirt, and it will be done. really was uh, more difficult than I thought it would be to clean this thing. The, the grime that was on this chain was really baked on. Yet this chain really seems new. It, it is so, it's so stiff. It, it, uh, and it measures, you know, I did the, the chain stretch measure, the measurement and it was, it was within specs. A millimeter within spec, so it's not new, but it's got a it's got a little bit of stretching to go before it's worn out, and it feels just so stiff that it feels like a new chain to me. If you if you zoom in on it, it says Japan 50 VM DID. Five zero Victor Mike Delta India Delta. I, I don't know what that means. Regardless, I think I don't care if this OEM calls for a solid chain or not. I'm I'm gonna get a, a split link chain because this is a pain in the butt. Be much more convenient to take this chain off and soak it, soak the entire thing in a nice long trough, and not have to sit here and spin it on this swing arm and clean it little, you know, a foot at a time. It's kind of ridiculous. How much more, how much stronger is? Uh, I think the. Uh, the split, split link, just as strong, whatever. I'll buy the top of the line one, <laughs> just to save myself the trouble of this. Well, here it is, a week later, and I am officially tired of screwing on this stupid chain. It's clean enough, probably cleaner than the factory. So I'm gonna, dry it off at this point and then start working on the suspension. I'm just going to undo the, the bottom bolt of the shock and just give this swing arm a, with the range of motion to see how it feels. And hopefully it'll all be good because I don't really feel like tearing this whole bike apart right before the, the riding season starts. So my chain guard came in, brand new, about $30, I think it was, and there's the part number. Kind of overpriced for a little piece of plastic, but what are you going to do? So I'm going to see if I can get this installed without too much trouble.
All right, chain is back installed and tight. Got about an inch of slop or whatever you call it. Inch of movement on the bottom side here, which is exactly what the specs are. And it's, even after all that scrubbing and soaking and scrubbing for a week, it's still not perfectly clean, unbelievably. I'll definitely be getting a split link when this one wears out. Um, that's just a pain, total pain, to sit there and rotate it through a bucket of, yeah, it's just, <laughs> yeah. All right, on to the suspension.